guys! Okay, so today's video is going to be another review and demo featuring another Maybelline product. And if you guys haven't noticed, I'm a little obsessed with Maybelline products, uh, especially when it comes to foundation and mascaras. Um, I always just tend to go to Maybelline whenever I'm looking for foundations and mascaras. Plus, they've been coming out with quite a bit of new products lately, and it's one of my favorite drugstore brands. So today's video is going to be review and demo featuring Maybelline's The Falsies Big Eye Mascara. And I'm a huge, huge fan of the falsies line i absolutely am in love with it i just love how they make my eyelashes look i've tried every single one of them and like i said i love the way they make my eyelashes look very big and full they lengthen them they define them a little bit they add volume and it makes it look like i'm wearing fake eyelashes and i love that because I'm the type of person that I freak out whenever I like come like put anything like close to my eye and I have a feeling I would probably freak out like trying to put fake eyelashes on. I've tried it once and I just kind of had like a spaz attack and whenever I put like you know um, anything near my eye like eye drops or whenever I go to the eye doctor t to get my like eyes checked or whatever I freak out like I have a little spaz attack pretty much. That is why I just wear my glasses and I'm I'm like fine with just wearing my eyeglasses and um, a lot of people say you should get contacts because you have really pretty eyes because I have hazel eyes and they like want to see them a little bit more but I'm just like uh no thank you I'll just stick to my eyeglasses just because I just will have a very hard time putting contacts in my eyes and I don't know where I get it from because both of my parents um, have contacts but I get my blindness from my father and I blame my dad for that um so yeah I just love that mascaras can make my eyelashes look like I have fake eyelashes on so I wanted to give this one a try and I love that it's a little bit different than all the other mascaras to the falsy line because it's a double ended brush so there's one for your uh, one wand for your lower lashes and the other one is for your upper lashes and it kind of reminded me of another mascara that they have from Maybelline I don't know what they're called um I don't know what they're called, but they had like a whole bunch of different um, types for them. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. Hopefully, I will find out what their names and I'll put it down below in the description box. Um, but yeah, so basically, I'm just going to leave you guys a little review. Um, I'm going to start off with a review first, and then towards the end, you guys will see a demonstration on how I apply this mascara and then how it looks on my lashes, all of that good stuff. And yeah, so this is what the packaging looks like. I love how girly and like feminine it looks. I love the purple and the black. Um, I just love the colors together, and I'm a sucker for packaging so whenever I see like a hot pink or like a purple or like just kind of like a girly like product um, I just am a sucker for packaging so I just pick it up and let me know if you guys kind of do that too even if I just don't even if I don't really know what the product does I will just buy it because I just am a sucker for pack packaging pretty much um, I love the font of it I just love how cute the packaging is I got mine in very black which I believe was like the blackest of the black I always had to get like the super blackest one and I believe this is the darkest one because I really like really black like eyelashes and this make my eyelashes look super black and they kind of like stand out which I love and especially for my bottom lashes and this is a waterproof mascara. Usually I don't get waterproof mascara, but I needed a waterproof mascara because lately, um, since Robbie's siblings moved down to California, um, we've been going to like water parks and uh, like the beach and like just amusement parks and stuff. And if I want to have like a little bit of, you know, mascara or whatever, um, I want to have it waterproof and I don't want to look like a raccoon and you see black dripping down my face and just go, you know, throughout the day looking like a hot mess or whatever. So I picked this out and since it was new product I was like I'll try it and I'll try it in waterproof but it is a beep to get off like let me tell you guys whenever I use like makeup removers I think it's like the Target brand that I have lately which are great but I I just have to like kind of like tug at my eyes and it just it kind of hurts and just is a beep to take off and but then I tried my Maybelline the like rem removing lotion I think that's what it, I don't know the like the full name but it's in, like the pink bottle which I absolutely love and it I use like two um or I use it twice. I can't talk right now. <laughs> I use it twice and then um I rinse it off and it works amazing. Like it takes off all of the mascara. Like if I use makeup remover wipes, I feel like I'll have a little bit left over the next day. But when I re when I use a removing lotion, it takes everything off, which I love because that baby is miracles and it's absolutely amazing. I love that product. Um so yeah, let me just show you guys the wands. So I'm gonna start off with the upper lash wand, which is the purple one. 
And this retailed for, I think, 5 to $6. I got mine at Walmart. The prices do vary depending on where you guys decide to pick it up. Um, I'll list the exact prices and all the colors down below in the description box. But this is what the upper lash one looks like. And I don't know if you guys can tell, like, on camera, but it is kind of like a spiral, which is totally different than all the other falsies um, brushes. Some of them, like, curved, and they have a little bit more, like, a fuller, longer um, bristles. And these, the bristles are a little bit long. Um, and they are a little bit full. The brush is really, really different, which kind of intrigued me, and I was really excited to try it out. And I think, how much does this come in? I don't know how much. Oh, 0 0.29 fluid ounces. I'm going to check to see how much, um, if it's more or less. Yeah, so my CoverGirl Flinged Out comes with 0.37 fluid ounces. So I believe that these come with a little bit less product since it is a double-ended, which um, is kind of, I guess you could take it as a good or a bad thing. Uh, but it's enough just because, you know, you like to experiment with the product and see if you like it or don't like it. And I guess it's even um, better if you don't really care for this mascara. But the wand I really like. It's different and it looks really, really cool. And yeah, I really liked this um, brush. And it's really good for your upper lashes, of course, because it's made for your upper lashes. Um, I don't, I haven't tried this for my bottom lashes just because I feel like the brush is a little bit, um, you know, wider. And I like, like, tinier brushes for my bottom lashes because I feel like if I get, like, a really full kind of brush, it will just make a hot mess, um, underneath my eye. And I just don't have time to clean that sometimes. And I just have, like, a specific brush that I like to use for my bottom lashes. And, um, then for my, the uh, lower lash wand that looks like this, which I absolutely love the lower lash wand. It separates your bottom lashes amazingly. And you can, it totally defines them and and I just love this um, lower lash wand. It is absolutely amazing. And sometimes I will use it for my upper lashes, like towards the end and then the inner. Um, just because it's sometimes a little bit hard to get there. And this um, works perfectly for that. I really like this mascara. It defines my lashes. It kind of gives them more of like a natural kind of falsy eye um, effect, if that makes any sense. Um, it lengthens them. It definitely does hold a curl. And my phone is going crazy because Robbie is letting me know something about a house we may get. And anyways, I need to focus and finish this video. So it lengthens them. It defines them a little bit. And it definitely does hold a curl. I have tried it with um, a, curly, a curling wand. I was going to say a curling iron. A curling wand. And I have tried it without one. And it, it makes my eyelashes look um, good both ways. Um, like I said, it does hold a curl. It doesn't really, it doesn't flake or anything. Um, it looks really, really nice, and I just love how black this mascara is, and my phone is going crazy, and it is bugging me right now. Babe, stop texting me. Um, so yeah, I really like this mascara a lot. It defines it, it volumizes them, it lengthens them a little bit, and I just really, really like it. And I've been wearing it the past couple days, and, um, I'm the type of person that I use, like, five different mascaras, and, um... Honestly, guys, since I've bought this mascara, I have only used this mascara, and I am really surprised by that. And I just actually found a mascara that I can just use by itself, and that is this mascara. It is really, really good. It doesn't clump or anything. Like I said, it doesn't, um, you know, flake or anything. It's kind of like a dry kind of mascara. Like, it, it's not, like, super wet as some other mascaras that I've tried. It's a little bit, like, drying. Like, it dries really, really quickly. Um, and I've only applied, like, two layers of this mascara. I feel like if I use a third layer, it will, um, kind of, you know, clump up a little bit. But two layers, I feel like you're great. You still get a really nice kind of, like, false eyelash effect. And it separates them and lengthens them. And it makes your eyelashes look absolutely amazing. Definitely one of my favorite mascaras right now. If you guys love trying new products and you guys are a uh, mascara junkie, definitely you guys should give this a try. It's, like, under $7, I believe. And it's a really good mascara. So I hope you guys like this review and now on to the demonstration. Okay guys, so it is time for the demo, as you guys can tell, because you guys are so up close and personal with my face. Um, so I kind of already started um, with my right eye, the one that I'm going to do my demo on, but I just applied a little bit. Um, so I apologize, um, some, someone called me and then I had to stop it. So I'm sorry, um, but I didn't apply a lot of it. So. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline The Falsies Big Eye Mascara, obviously, because this is what the video is about. And I'm going to take the upper lash wand first. 
so here's what it looks like and yeah so let's just go right in so I really like this mascara a lot and also by the way guys I did curl my lashes today sometimes I do sometimes I don't but today I decided I'm gonna go and curl my lashes um so I love this mascara because it separates my lashes and it lengthens them as you guys can probably tell a little bit and it gives them a little bit of volume and the one thing is is that this is a little bit drying but I love that it separates it. I love that it defines my lashes and it's just really easy to apply. And it just makes them look like fake lashes. So that is what my upper lashes look like. Now I'm going to go in, that's the first layer. I'm gonna go in with the lower lash wand which looks like this which I love the wand. It's so easy just to get into like all the little corners and like crevices and stuff. So we're just going to apply this on our bottom lashes. And it just separates the lashes so perfectly and it makes them really nice like that super black which I love because it's so nice like to just stand out. And I just love really black lashes. So those are my bottom lashes, and I love how it separates them. You can see pretty much all of my bottom lashes, which I love. It's kind of hard to find um, a mascara that you can use for your bottom and your top lashes, and I finally found it. So I'm going to go in with um, a second layer of mascara, just so you guys can see what it looks like. So just going to wiggle the brush a little bit. And it's not clumping them or anything together. And it's still that really nice black. So yeah, I'm not going to go any more just because I don't want them to be clumpy. So this is pretty much what the mascara looks like. And I absolutely love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this demo. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!